Hey there, friends. Got a gumball reaction for you with the car. A thing I can't drive because I'm a fish. Oh. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, honey, sorry. Mommy worked really late last night. Oh, she had like an overnight shift. She had that recorded. Oh. Oh my goodness. Anna Yees had that locked and loaded. Probably because, you know, probably, you know, Anna Yees wanted her mom to take her to other places, but then Nicole's like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. And then Anais, the smart four-year-old's like, let me record this, and immediately does this, though. But imagine being Nicole, working on a late night shift, and you just want to sleep in. Okay. So in a way, I'm more like Nicole, though. Get you fit while you watch TV. Wait, didn't... Wait, hold on a second. Wait, didn't the electro fat happen in the the episode where, you know, Mr. Robinson and Mrs. Robinson were fighting with each other? Well, they're not fighting with each other. They didn't fight with each other, which made him be depressed because they didn't fight each other because they used to argue a lot in public. But so did Richard get another or did he get that from the attic? Uh, oh, hi, honey. <laughs> Aww. She's so tired. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Dang. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dang. You. Make you beautiful. Oh. I was gonna say, Richard, you're already beautiful in my book, but I don't know how much more beautiful you can be, but... Also, literally the house got burned down, and Anna Yees pulled away her mother. Are you telling me that Anna Yees could be more powerful than Nicole herself? I'm just gonna blame that Nicole is really tired. It's a mood, though. She looks really exhausted. Also, why couldn't Richard take her out? He's just trying to make himself beautiful. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Time to play. Here we go, back with Dodger there. Whoa. Like the, the, the bowling ball? Oh, what? Yes. Dang. I gotta say, he really built that like a Lego character. You know, like, you know, like how in the Lego movies and the games, they just build it up and all you hear is... Like, you hear all that noises? Like, he really built that so quickly. You're telling me that Gumball can be this creative, building stuff using only trash, yet th people think he's not smart? Oh. I'm really curious. Can this work? Oh. <laughs> oh. He really froze time. Oh. Told you, Mark, oh, it's just a new car. that's oh. <gasps> it yard. oh my goodness, Yay! her head. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I just want to know Darwin is amazingly powerful. So two things I want to bring up in the wand episode. Remember how Darwin can actually speak in reverse? And also, Mr. Robinson used the wand to say, I wish you didn't have that ridiculous haircut. There it is! The wish actually came true! Two episodes later, but the wish actually came true! He's such a and then he froze guy. time. Is one lucky lady. Oh yeah, yeah she is. You don't want a husband that laughs at you a lot? <laughs> It's a freaking bowling ball. <laughs> so is she bald? What's the new game? Oh, I thought she would say something worse, though. Oh, boy. Oh, basically, they're going to become his chore boys. And the boys are like, Mr. Robinson, we love you so much. 
Even if you make us do so much labor, we will still love you. It's a game for us. I love how cartoony the tree looks to the realistic background, right? I wonder if they did it. We'll see if they're still smiling after this. I love that he still has the leaf on his head. Excuse me. Oh. There, we're done. This is green. Whoa. Egyptian sunrise, sunset yellow. And this is the Mr. Robinson head shape leaf. Wow. So once again, Gumball is supposed to be stupid when he knows all the colors of the leaves over here. He color coded these leaves and he found a Mr. Robinson leaf. And he he was he you saw his face. He's like, and this, this right here is my precious. Ooh, <laughs> can we keep it? No. That's we mean. <laughs> Robinson, you're so right. Oh, master, you're so right. We'll get right on it. But wait, you gotta use nail clippers. Nail clippers to cut the grass? They have to. I think they're missing the point. They have to cut like each blade of. They're done. Dang, even the sun is impressed. Come here and paint this fence blue. Wait, what did he say? Did he just say goons? I feel like because of the internet today, the word goon or goons is really ruined right now. Because goons are supposed to be like a bunch of underlings who go like, Hey boss, hey how's it going boss? But now that word is so lost, I have no idea what it means today. Also, if the sun is impressed, that means Gumball, like... Sir, how are Gumball and Darwin like amazing at a number of things? But they're they're supposed to be dumb at the same time, right? Like they're masters at cutting grass with nail clippers, organizing leaves, but they're supposed to be the dumb ones. Yay! They are really having fun over here. Wow! They are really amazing. Wait, what? Back to blue? Mr. Robinson, since you love painting so much. I make this bird especially for you. Uh, thanks. <laughs> oh yeah. Follow me. Oh. Where? Okay. The, the 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 thing is, they really painted that fence really well. Do you do you think if they'd done that in their backyard, Nicole and Richard would be very happy for their sons if they painted the backyard the same way? If they did. How is it for Mr. Robinson? It's like, oh yeah, do all these chores, but it's a game. That's fine. But back at home, they are just chaotic. Here, they're being chaotically nice. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh. Wait, where did... Wait, what? How? They even refreshed this drink and everything? Oh. They are the fastest kids alive. How are these two that powerful? <laughs> oh my goodness. But also, these kids are getting more and more powerful every time. Now, they can slow down time to catch a drink before it hits the floor. How much more powerful can these kids be? I can feel he needs us. <laughs> I love the way he moves around when he screams. Just a puppet being shaken a lot. Oh, clipping his. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Did he just get stabbed in the eye? <laughs> no. Not in the bathroom, please. I mean, okay, at that point, I agree. Please do not invade a man's privacy while they're in the bat while they're in the bathroom. Were you just waiting in there to be like, Mr. Robinson's doing his business. I want to be right there with the toilet paper when he's all done, Mr. Gaylord Robinson. Oh, wait. Could you throw that back, please? Ooh, I need to lie down. It's 
Oh, not the baby bib. <laughs> Wrong end. You put the you put the you put the thermometer in the other way. Listen, kids, why are you trying so hard to help me? Because we love you, Mr. Robinson. Okay, that, that that's just creepy, kids. What the heck? Also, can I mention one thing? Do you see the clock behind him? Wasn't it like 10:30 something, 10:40 something? Then when he got to bed, it was 10 o'clock, and now it's 11 o'clock. Is it still day or is it nighttime right now? Are we going through days or are we going through night? Also, where the heck is Mrs. Robinson? Did she get really sick of the kids and leave? But there's nothing left for you to do. We could clean your new car. Uh, no way. My car is brand oh. new. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are they trying to say about Mrs. Robinson, though? What are they trying to say? <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. That is cruel, though. Mr. Robinson actually thought about it. He's like, hmm. What is he trying to say? Oh, my goodness. Th this marriage between Mr. and Mrs. Robinson is so weird. They argue a lot. And Mr. Robinson doesn't like his wife's hair. He thinks his wife is dirty. And that's the only way they could clean his car, because Mrs. Robinson would have knocked his clocks out. Easy. Mr. Robinson said it's very easy. Oh, boy. No. Just a little oh, touch, yes. right? <laughs> At least things can't get any worse. <laughs> How'd they do that from one Never little mind. touch? Maybe those kids are Oh, so my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness are, are you sure you, you you both live next door to mr robinson but how is it they've gone from organizing leaf colors clipping grass painting the fence to one tiny little touch of the car and that's it that car is just really fragile and a, a very expensive car, but it breaks easily. Sounds like what Mr. Robinson would do. <laughs> Bay. Wow, they're they're really hiding away forever. Ooh, dark. Back in the attic. Horrible. Perfect. I mean, they did put Mr. Robinson in the attic, so it is a perfect place. Oh. What? Hello? That is scary. Well, it seems like Anais had fun. To be honest, I thought that Nicole and Anais would be away for the whole episode. So it's really surprising that they're coming back, though. But aren't they coming back to a disaster, though? Also, Richard's been hiding up there, too? What's going on here? Talking to the sheriff Wait, go around the back. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean go around the back? They don't have a back. They, they have a backyard, but they can't drive a car up there. But it's not true. Oh. You see, it was nine o'clock this morning, and <laughs> oh no, you're gonna tell me that the kids aren't the only one who ruined the car. I mean, there's gotta be a reason why that car is so faulty, right? That one little touch literally broke it down. Oh boy. <laughs> Make me beautiful. You're already beautiful, dude. Oh, yeah. What do you expect when you put electric shocks through your body? Oh. 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 Ooh. oh. Okay. It's just the dink. I'll bang it out. They're gonna. Ba this may take a while. Oh. Wow. Oh. oh. What the? Dang, he really put that together like Lego pieces, am I right? Literally. That, that, I'm surprised he did all of that. Richard is supposed to be like the laziest man in Elmore, yet he can do this, right? 
Sometimes this man surprises me. That thing is being held together with hopes and dreams. What should we do now? Well, I think the most responsible thing to do is to hide here forever. Yeah, you're right. Let your mother find out what happened. No. Nope. already know. <laughs> Honey. But it's not quite what you think. Wait, what? It's nine o'clock this morning. Wait. Oh. Oh, no. I just didn't see it. You're kidding me. The whole family is involved with this thing. Well, it was more than cold. Then we got Richard. The kids just. Yeah, so it wasn't the kids fault. All they did was just. Act... What they did was accidentally just cause it to... like just cause it to break apart again because it was being held up. It was being held up. We held up with hopes and dreams. I was about to tell Mr. Robinson, but. Horrible mother. Oh. <laughs> so, we went to see the show. They just left. So they could have left a sign or something, right? Like a note. So relieved. It was a family effort. Well, more so the mom and dad's fault. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. I can't believe Mr. Robinson is pulling the whole trick of like, I pay the taxes, which means that you are, that I hired you, you are hired with my money, which means you do what I say. Now, go in there, public servant, and do my bidding. I suppose I shall have to take matters into my own hands. You're in your home, you're, you're, Here come the Robinsons. you're saying this in front of the police officer. At that point, those two should be arrested for threatening the family, right? Why is the lighting so nice? Dang. Okay, but before we see what they what they're gonna do, but can I just say that sometimes when they're in the attic, the lighting is just beautiful. The light, like, I don't know what they were doing in the attic, but the lighting, though, the lighting just hits so good. All right, but let's see what's going on. This is what happens when you mess with Gaylord. Mess with who? This is what happens. You're doing this in front of the police officer. Oh. <laughs> Why is she hissing? Oh. She got tased! Oh my... Or you... Yeah, what do you expect? What do you expect? You attack the police officer. You should be glad he didn't pull out a gun. So, you see your wife tased and you decide to attack the police officer who tased your wife. I get it. It means he's, he loves his wife even though they argue a lot, even in public, but still. That's a dumb idea. And you're an old man, Mr. Robinson. Maybe we should give them time to calm down. Yeah. Y yeah, they do. No. I'm sure they learned their lessons. Don't worry, Mr. Robinson. We'll look after your house while you're gone. Such a great guy. What a happy ending, am I right? Is there a lesson, though? I wonder what the lesson is, because literally, the car being broken down is the family's fault, but... Oh my goodness, what an episode, though. That electro-fat machine was worth every penny. Whoa! For free, Richard? For free? That actually worked? I don't know. I like the Richard before, though. It's the Richard we know and love this whole season so far, right? But, all right. This episode was nuts. I didn't think an episode with the Robinsons would be that fun. Because, you know, it's it's old people. What do you expect from them? But it got really nuts that, you know, Gumball and Darwin are really creative kids. And supposedly, they are supposed to be dumb. 
that I don't get. They really color coded everything. They know how to paint a fence very well. And they try to take care of Mr. Robinson's car, even though that's before we knew that the rest of the family got involved with the damages. So even though it was a family effort, it was more on the parents that caused the most damage to the car. The kids just, they just didn't know. But uh, yeah, it's 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 like it's really funny when you know it was mentioned that I'm sorry you had to live next to these monsters when, in fact, to Mr. and Mrs. Robinson, the Watersons are the monsters. So they're monsters to each other, the yin to the yang. They coexist with each other and they can't they can't be apart from each other. It's really weird when you have neighbors that are both a danger to each other, right? But I'm glad that, you know, Nicole and Anais got involved with this episode because there are a number of episodes in this season that those two do not get involved. It's mostly been Gumball and Darwin or Gumball, Darwin and Richard. So it's great seeing more episodes where the whole family gets involved because I love the entire family. I love this family so much. But it's really nuts that in the end they got freaking tased and locked away. That is nuts. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. Of course, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and comment about what you think. I will catch you next time.